We hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. And of course, it's time to learn who our pet of the week is. Pet Patrol is here. And we have Christine McClarty from <laughs> Humane Society Tampa Bay. Who is this big baby on your lap? So this is Carmel. <laughs> she is three years old and just over 50 pounds. And look at these eyes. She is She's one of gorgeous. the sweetest pups in the whole world. She is a fan favorite at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay because she's been there more than 100 days. She's oh coming up on four months. Mm -hmm. And we know the reason is just because she needs to be in a single dog home. Okay. So she is great with humans and she is such a snuggle bug. Yes, you are. Thank you for the kisses. Aww, She's yes, she really is. so God. sweet. Um, but a lot of dog lovers out there already have a dog. Mm -hmm. So that's the struggle. So um, the average adoption rate is seven days. Okay. But she's been with us over 100. So somebody please consider taking Carmel. Yeah. If you don't have another dog at home, she is a really, really great dog. So there you have it. She is ready for adoption. And you guys take care of most of the uh, the paperwork and all that. I mean, it's Absolutely. so easy to adopt. Every Tell dog, me about that. Thank you. Every dog comes microchipped, vaccinated, and uh, they are spay or neutered, so sterilized. So we try to give them the best step forward and to find their forever home. And Humane Society Tampa Bay.org is the place to go. And you know, we have another wonderful happy ending story to share. Another dog that was basically left out in a dumpster, but found a forever home. His name is Carlisle, and he was, he was, you know, adopted. What happened with him? Look at him, he's such a cute face. And talk about some eyes that'll yeah. draw you right in. So Tampa Bay Buccaneers Logan Ryan is actually doing something different um, mm -hmm. with the Humane Society of Tampa Bay that I'll tell you about in just one second. But as far as Carlisle, uh -huh. that dog, this dog right here, found in a dumpster, at just five months old oh and absolutely heartbreaking situation. He was found at a local car wash, a Bay Area car wash, and the workers heard some weird noises. They went to their boss and said, something weird's happening in that dumpster. Yeah. They opened the lid and those eyes are staring right back at them. <sighs> Luckily, Carlisle was brought to us, the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. We got him checked out for health and just a couple days ago, he was adopted and is onto his forever family, onto his forever home. Yeah. They actually got to the shelter at midnight because they did what you're supposed to do. They stalked the website and saw his picture pop up around 8 p.m. That's mm -hmm. when we usually update the website with the new dogs and cats, that everybody, uh -huh. yep, that will be available the next day at 10 a.m. So they got there at midnight <laughs> and said, we want Carlisle, we're gonna give him the love he Such deserves. Such a wonderful story to share. And you know, we know times are rough, but if there's any situation that you need to surrender your pet, consider doing it where, Chrissy? In the right way. So a fur baby is just like a real baby. This is a creature that you have responsibility responsibility for and you have to take care of in the right way. So at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay and at the local um, PRC, right. we don't have the ability to be open 24 seven. If we ask that if you really have an emergency situation with your animal, keep them in your garage. If you really can't keep it in your house, keep it in your garage with food and water and then bring it to mm -hmm. us first thing when we open at 8 a.m. Otherwise, find a 24-hour vet clinic yeah. and give it Beautiful. to them. You know that they're animal lovers, so if it, there's a lot of other options than dumping an animal in a dumpster. Absolutely. So. And so going back to the initiative with Logan and his wife, they're giving away a month of free uh, training, is it? Yes, you got the it. We pets, are so yes. excited. Logan Ryan and his wife, along with their nonprofit, RARF, are teaming up with Good Pup to give four free weeks of virtual training to anybody that adopts an animal up to August 20th. 26th. The program was going from July 26th to August 26th because that's when Logan Ryan is training himself oh. with the Bucks. That is wonderful. So, so make sure you go ahead and, and, you know, schedule that. Yes. Thank you so much for coming, Chrissy. And I hope that we get Caramel, right? Adopted. Yep. Caramel. There you go. And we want to thank our sponsors, Pet Supermarket. Whether your pet swims, fetch the ball, Pet Supermarket has all your needs. Switching gears here, how about a delicious recipe light enough for summer? Morning Blend contributor and cookbook author Erica Schlick shares her favorite recipe with tequila marinated shrimp skewers. I think we can all agree that everybody absolutely loves tacos. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a grilled tequila lime shrimp with cilantro lime sauce on grain-free tortillas, and these tacos are gonna change your life. So we're gonna start by making our marinade, and I've got some extra virgin olive oil here, and I'm gonna be adding in a quarter cup of lime juice, and I've got a quarter cup of tequila, and you can use any tequila, I'm using a white one, and I've got some garlic powder, some onion powder, sea salts, 
and I've got the zest of one of the limes that I've used and we're gonna go ahead and add that in and I've got about two tablespoons of fresh chopped cilantro and that's it that's what's gonna make our marinade so we're gonna go ahead and whisk this together and I've got my shrimp here and now I'm using peeled and deveined shrimp that's already ready to go and I've just put it in the bowl here and we're gonna go ahead and put our marinade on it and now it's up to you how long you want to marinate it the longer the better it's gonna taste but I would say at the minimum you want to do at least 30 minutes so that's it that's all that's gonna happen here we're just gonna go ahead and get this combined make sure it's all mixed in there and I'm gonna put these in the fridge for about 30 to 60 minutes and we will come back and we will put these on the grill while our shrimp is marinating, we can go ahead and take advantage of the time and make our cilantro lime sauce that is gonna tie these tacos together and be so good. So I've got one bunch of fresh cilantro here and I'm gonna be using my food processor for this to make it super easy and also because it'll help to emulsify the sauce a little bit. So we've got our cilantro and I've got our extra virgin olive oil here. I've got the juice of one lime that we're using and I have one shallot and we can just go ahead and toss it in. I like to half it and then the food processor is gonna take care of the rest of it. I've got some garlic powder and my sea salt. And that's it. Now we just need to put the lid on our food processor and let it do the work for us. And you can always take a look at the sauce. If you want it to be a little runnier, you can add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, but I like it like this, a little bit heartier, just so that we want it to stick on our tacos and on top of our shrimp. So that's it. Now we're ready to get the shrimp out of the fridge and 